God who had sundry time and in diverse manners or in different ways spake in time past unto the fathers and the prophets has in these last days spoken a us by son whom he had appointed in the year of all things by whom also he made the world. From creation God has been speaking. The problem is not that God stops speaking. The problem is that we are not listening to what God is saying. God always speaks to his people. And when God speaks, it's for us to respond. And God speak plainly and clearly. Every one of us can understand. Hey. The Bible said God spoke in time past by the prophets. Spoke to Moses and said, Moses, want you to go down to Egypt. And tell Pharaoh, let my people go. I stand as Moses in this house to tell the devil no longer Jesus. you can have in this stronghold on God's people. Amen. I stand in the power of the Holy Ghost to clear over this house this morning that I made an assignment from heaven. Ah, there are so many of your people that have been bound by sicknesses, bound by disease, bound by witchcraft, but God said, I am God, I change not. My word, their spirit, and their love. And I want you to know, praise God, as God was with the prophets, so is God speaking today through the Spirit of God. And I want you to know, praise God, that if you have a ear to hear, if you can only hear what God is saying, your deliverance is guaranteed. Amen. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake unto the fathers by the prophets, had in these days spoken unto us by his son Jesus Christ. I want you to know that when Jesus came, he came as God manifested in the flesh. Jesus said, I am the way, not these ways, but I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So if you want to go to God or you want to know who God is, you got to come to Jesus Christ, who is the conduit of the do, do away to God. Jesus saying, if you come any other way, you're a thief and you're a robber. And I want you to know, if you need a healing, it got to come through Jesus Christ. If you need a deliverance, it got to come through Jesus Christ. If you need the Holy Ghost, it comes through Jesus. If you need your family to be saved, it comes through Jesus. He is the final authority when it comes to God's word. Jesus, when he came, he declared in St. Luke 4, 18, he said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So Jesus Christ had a mission when he came to earth. You and I, praise God, when we don't hope, we were sold out by Adam, but Jesus, the second Adam, he came to set men free from the bondage of sin. Is there anybody in this house today who know that Jesus Christ is able to do it? Why don't you say amen? Amen. 
the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Well, well, you see, Jesus had to speak in the terminology of a man. For so he was both human and divine. Oh, praise God. So his humanity, wisdom, and knowledge on the human side could not bring deliverance to those who are bound. There's a lot of preachers who are preaching, but they do not possess the spirit of God. You cannot preach deliverance to captive by your education and ability. You can preach it because you are well learned. You gotta preach deliverance by the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. For Jesus said, Behold, I give you power. That power is the Holy Ghost which we have today. And in me right now as I'm speaking, I'm the apostle Paul said, I've got this treasure in earth and vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. There's too many people who are preaching and are not authorized to preach. My God. My God. My God. It doesn't mean because you can read the scripture, you're authorized to preach. Uh, even the devil himself know the scripture. But when it comes to God, there must be a connection, praise God. You gotta be hooked up with the source. Huh? Hallelujah! As you look into this house today, there's a light come to us. Huh? It hooked up with the source, praise God. You and I can only work for God when you're hooked up with the source, but not about is that about lies? It's about the anointing that flows from God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why? Because divinity, which is God the Spirit, anoint humanity. Because the Spirit anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah to God. Let me say this, praise God. There's a lot of folks have on fine suits and fine dresses, but they come to church with broken heart, discouraged, cast down. What is the assignment of the church? The assignment of the church is not only to deliver an offering, it's not only to have a dance, but there must be a spirit of deliverance. Oh, God, when I walk in the church, I walk with expectation. I'm expecting God to do something unusual. I'm expecting somebody to be healed. I'm expecting somebody to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm expecting somebody to cry out. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, what is your expectation from God today? Well, you, well, you might not tell the person the truth, but I know you come with an expectation. God is able to fulfill it, praise God. I know God, his name is Jesus. He have all authority, all power, and all might. To preach the gospel to the poor. Set me to heal the sick. That's why I believe in laying of hands. The hands of any sick which have called for the elders of the church. Anoint them at all and pray the prayer of faith. Praise God. What is happening in our church today is that a lot of folks come to church, but they don't come believing that God is in it. Some folks even come to see the preacher. Who is the preacher? The preacher can't do nothing except God anoint him. The preacher can't even pray for your deliverance except God anoint him. It's not about the clothes that the preacher wear. It's the connection that the preacher has with God. Lord have mercy. There's a lot of folks uh, who go to theological seminary. And that's all right to go to theological seminary. But you can't get the anointing at theological seminary. You can't get it at the cross. My God, my Father, when I look at the church, praise God, I stop and I start to ask some questions. Is this the church that we know 20, 30 years ago? When you walk into the Pentecostal church, you see signs and miracles. Anybody looking? They sent me to heal the sick, the broken hearted, preach deliverance to the captive, recovering of sight to the blind, 
and to set at liberty them that are bruised. That was his mission. Jesus Christ came with a mission and praise God he went on to Mount Albert and he was transfigured up into glory and he authorized us, the people of God. So I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpion and over all the work of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I come to say today that God say I chain not. What God is expecting of us as a people is that we come with a repentive heart. We want God to heal our families. We want God to provide for us and we still mess up in sin. But I come to encourage somebody today if you put your hands in God's hand, if you walk with God, if you talk with God, if you let God be your source. I don't matter what trap they set for you. No devil from hell can stop you. For great is he that is in you, that he that's in the world. In my closing, I want to say this afternoon, the word that I bring to church, this church this morning, is that God said, I come to set the captive free. I don't matter how long you've been bound. I don't matter how long the doctor has been treating you. If you can step out in faith today, I come to let you know that it's already done. I say it's already done. I don't know what you believe. I don't know who you believe. But I believe the report of the Lord. My Bible said he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquities. He just sinned it. And my peace was upon him. And with his stripes. When the Roman soldiers with my cavalry, your healing had been provided. I come to tell somebody, go home, get out on the medication. I said, God, I challenge you. I challenge you. You say you're a healer. I am a believer. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Let me tell the church something. You go to the doctor and that's all right. I'm not telling you not to go. But you got to believe that God who created even the drugs that make the medication. Lord of mercy. When you go to the doctor, if you don't believe that God can, then God can't even help you through the process of the doctor. I came an assignment. God said to me, I've given you a deliverance ministry, but somehow you're not marching forward with it. Uh, can I confess the truth? I don't like to go on the warfare. For every time I go on the warfare, I can expect an attack. I want you to know when I lay hands on all of you here, I'm coming to God against a force. When I go home sometimes, I can't even rest properly because I still fight the warfare. But because I'm up and because I'm all Where do you get your authority? I get it from heaven. Jesus said to me this morning, you have been assigned to bring deliverance. I got to get up and do what God said. If somebody don't even believe it, that's all right. I'm not an assignment.
of my pastoral ability. You should have seized the, seized the opportunity to come. Lord have mercy. There's something about the hand of the shepherd. Lord have mercy. When wolves see sheep, they have a thing against a sheep. But if the shepherd, I feel something pushing me. Soft. I'm going to use this as a soft. When the shepherd is trying out the sheep, he has a soft. Lord have mercy. The soft is a rod of correction. And it allows to pull the sheep when they go out of line. Hallelujah. I tap in the spirit while I was in our way. And I see the enemy start to do something along here. I need young people. I want all the young people from age 18, right up from 13 to 18 to come out here. There's something that I got to demonstrate in this house. When young people get on fire for God, it makes a difference for God. The devil not so much concerned about the older folks. He knew if he get young people, he stopped the other generation. But the generation, Lord have mercy, you can hold it this one. The generation are first united. You got to carry this gospel, Lord have mercy. When you get the anointing, don't let nobody, let nothing stop the flow. Hallelujah! 
Let the Spirit of God minister. Minister in your very being. Yes, Lord. May the Spirit of God minister through you. Yes, yes. Upon you. Yes, Lord. Now I believe, praise God. God's working hey, for hey, you right hey, now. Hey. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, hey. Oh, when I ask young people to pass by me, young people just come by. Yes. 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 Y